About a year ago, I made a video comparing Classic Doom to Doom Eternal, but I mostly talked about how id Software's attitude towards making games and their underlying design philosophies haven't really altered much since the 90s. Of course, Romero and Carmack have long since left id Software, and there's almost nobody from the original team still kicking around, but id Software is still basically id Software. They still want to make action-packed, skill-based, fun shooters. Id Software doesn't want to bog the player down with emotional stories or waste their time with a 10 minute cutscene. They want to get down to the action, which is what I love about old school shooters to begin with. Although Doom Eternal plays a lot more like Quake than it does classic Doom, I still see many similarities between the two games. That also might sound like a negative, the fact that the new Doom games have more in common with Quake in terms of gunplay, but it's really not. In classic Doom, you can move fast as fuck, you can switch weapons quickly, and it feels great to fire those guns, but you can't move up or down, and jump like you can in Quake, and by extension, Doom Eternal. There are some elements of Doom Eternal that I find extremely similar to Classic Doom, starting off with switching weapons, and how each gun is fairly situational. Now the act of choosing the right weapon for the job all started in Wolfenstein 3D, although it obviously didn't have the same complexity as later its software games. When you fire the chain gun, it eats through ammo pretty quickly, so it's better to switch to the regular machine gun for an individual enemy or a very small group of them. However, for the big combat encounters, the chain gun should be armed and ready to spray. When Doom came out, the idea of switching to the right gun was expanded upon. The combat shotgun is great for snapping enemies that are far away, while the super shotgun is great for close quarters combat with large clusters of monsters. The chain gun is a pretty good weapon for both picking off individual enemies and crowd control. The plasma rifle and BFG share ammo, so do you equip the BFG for the big, bad, dangerous monster, or do you take out the mid-tier enemies with the plasma rifle? This combat meta was in Doom, from fucking 1993. Doom was revolutionary, and it set the standard for the 90s FPS weapon roster. Doom Eternal follows a similar design approach to the weapon. Depending on what monsters you're up against, you will opt to use certain weapons over others. Although Doom Eternal focuses on arena combat, while Classic Doom has monsters placed into the world already, Doom Eternal still has different types of levels like Classic Doom. Art Complex is a run and gun stage, the Blood Swamps is a hub style level similar to Foundry from Doom 2016, Mars Core allows you to meat hook past the enemies if you choose not to engage, etc. There's specific characteristics of each level in Doom Eternal, just like how there are different types of levels in Classic Doom. Mount Erebus from the original Doom is unlike Hunted from Plutonia, as an example. What are some more similarities you see between Classic Doom and Doom Eternal? The personality, the varied level design, the situational combat, the cartoony art style are all aspects that both games have. So tell me in the comments about anything you find similar or even different about these games.